hi everyone so you all seen this coming takeaway night so um, yeah um oh i'm so excited though because i've ordered something and i've never been able to find it in alton port before and i finally found it this right it's a pizza box and i wanted a munchie box for ages from wherever the chinese or a kebab place oh it's taped wait there let me try and open it opening it like of a caveman dude here. don't use tools he knows this food <laughs> right there guys so are you ready i haven't even looked obviously as you can see nine inches ready oh, wait there <laughs> Oh, <coughs> dude, two way different reactions, dude. I did not think this looked very delightful at all. Obviously, our girl did, dude. Um, is that is that a doorknob at the top of the door, or oh, uh, maybe that's just like the door thing that hits the back? But like, what is it even hitting? Isn't there a cabinet here? Okay, maybe I don't know. It's besides the point. But yeah, this doesn't look good. This this doesn't look good at all. I don't know why she has this reaction. I don't even know why she seeks out food at all. Like I hear this all the time where I go. They were out of the food, and I was so disappointed. So I had to go from like store to store to store to see if they still had it, and they didn't. So obviously, I was very sad. So I had to go ahead and get myself a Mackey's to ensure that my sadness levels are not too low. And then I eventually did found it, and this is my tea tonight. That's what I hear. It's like, why are you even searching for food like that, dude? You're literally going on a journey, like you're Ash Ketchum, for food. And, like, it's fine if you're, like, really, really hungry and you haven't had something since you were, like, a child or something like that. Like, this would be the only time I'd ever hear somebody go like that. Like, oh, I had food when I was, like, nine. I'm 32 right now, and I haven't eaten this food in, like, 20-something years. So, I'm, I'm trying to find it, and then you do find it's, like, really, really satisfying. But usually in those particular times, people get really disappointed that the food actually is ass- it's like watching a really, like, a movie that you watched when you were a kid, and you thought it was, like, really, really good and amazing and all that stuff, but then you watch it back, and you're like, oh, it's actually ass. In those scenarios, you probably should never just watch the movie because it's always going to disappoint you. But when it comes to food, if you're in that bracket, fine. Becky eats food like this every single night. Her tea is literally almost always takeout. So I don't even understand why she's like, <gasps> it's, it's not good. I don't care what you say, Becky. It's just grease. Damn guys it looks like slop that looks insane so i didn't get any bread with it but you got chips donna meat kofta chicken onions i need to show you a close up they just kind of throw stuff together in the uk is there no like rhyme or reason to it i see this all the time with amberlyn reed where i see the food and i'm like it just kind of looks like they had the ingredients instead of having like a you know one two three combination they went from like three five one you know they just kind of threw shit together and you're still astonished by it. This this looks like slop. It doesn't it. It just looks like slop covered in white stuff. Oh wow, bro. This looks like wet cardboard. This stuff right here. I know Donner meat is that thing, like the gyro that they cut off the side. I get I get that, but it looks like wet cardboard, doesn't it? Oh, these are the onions. Damn, bro. That shit. That did not look like onions, bro. You see what I'm saying? Why are the onions just on the side like this? Why are they not embedded into the food themselves? They just threw them on the side. That's disrespectful, dude. I don't even know what the white sauce is. Couldn't you put the... Dude, look how many onions there are. This got to be like a whole ass onion. They just... You might as well just give me the onion itself. If you're going to do this, just give me the onion. Just put it on top. Because it, 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 there's no there's no rhyme or reason to this. This is the ultimate takeaway i think dude you have takeaway every single night and you always say the same shit i don't think it matters at this point point. and i also got a pot of garlic mayo because who doesn't love garlic mayo i guess yes i did order all this for me probably... uh, man you know what dude as long as becky's keeping it a buck sometimes she does lie about it she'll go no it's not for me i have people coming later on they're gonna eat it too but you know what's really interesting about becky when she says stuff like that is that i don't think she peeps that we're not dumb because I see her double dipping in the box sometimes. Or she'll go, oh yeah, by the way, this is not just for me. And then she'll put the she'll put the spoon or the fork in there, you know, eat it. And then she'll go back in. And then as she said, like, it's not for me. How are you going to be double dipping back into the food? You think anybody's going to get that backwater Becky mouth juice on whatever the food that you just had? Nobody wants that, Becky. Nobody. So I know it's just for you. But at least she's keeping it in a buck here. This entire box is just for her. 
And you know what? I'm I'm proud of her for taking that for taking some accountability. Take the, show some respect, right, dude? We're not dumb. We're not stupid. I know this shit was for you to begin with. There's no way. And she always has these ginormous fucking plates. Like these things are literally bigger than her head. And she always like spins it out, and she makes it seem like it's not a lot of food when it's not a lot of food in comparison to the plate. But it is a lot of food in comparison to like any other meal that you would ever eat in that day. I'm not gonna eat it all then, really. Before you I've never heard damn. I'm not gonna really eat it all. Not really. What do you mean? Not really? Say, yes, you will. Well, that's for damn. you. Bloody blah. Oh, look at the cough there. Wow, that looks seasoned beautifully. If I do say so. <laughs> Make it out I'm an expert. Just oh, fucking just dump it on the plate. Nice. Just take it. Just so eat it out the box. Nice. Got some onions in there. Some chip chips. Chip 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 chips. Dude, stop stop talking to it. Okay, I, I, you didn't even get any of the onions yet, dude. I can't even believe this woman is like, <laughs> why, dude, I can't believe she has no problem with the, is that normal? Could somebody let me know, if you're from the UK or you have experience with this particular type of food, is that a Fitbit? Damn, she got a Fitbit on her arm, dude? I mean, good for her, dude. I wonder how much she's using it. Dude, hold up. What's this behind you? What's that? Hold up, Becky. Hold up. You is some. There's something going a little bit on right now, dude, Becky. We got to talk about something real quick. What are these boxes back here, dude? What are these styrofoam boxes? That uh, Usually when people have these, that's extra food. Is that not extra takeaway for you, Becky? What is this? Huh? Huh? Why are you not talking about this? You think we didn't see that. I know. Look at that right there, bro. She got two extra boxes back there. Becky. Becky. You got more food without telling us? Come on, man. I thought this was it. Get my onions here. Oh, look at it back there, dude. Some more chips. Wow. I'm just so buzzing. I found somewhere else. Before. Why are you so happy about food, man? It's You eat like this literally every single night. I can't believe somebody could eat like this so consistently and still be like, oh my god, I just cannot believe I'm about to eat this. And then you look at the night before video and you're like, dude, you literally just ate like almost the exact same thing the night before. Oh, that does one. Let's just hope it's nice. <laughs> I'm going to be absolutely yeah, I think that's enough, Becky. Chill right, back. Guys. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Damn, can I see the box? Can I see the box? Can I see what's left in the box? Can I go ahead and... Can we look at the box real quick? Okay, how much was this? Can we look at the box? Damn, Damn Becky. Okay. Damn, that's a fucking mountain, dude. Let me see the box. Bro, you got to pull up the box, bro. Let's try the chicken. Nah, can we see the box? I don't care about that. Mmm. Dude. That is good. Don't meat. The wet cardboard. Oh. That is nice. Dude. Kofta. You, you guys can't tell me that there's anything left in the box. There might be some onions left because they basically just cut up an entire onion and just threw it there. And that's basically like the only vegetable you're getting on this plate. So, obviously, it's just going to be left in the box. Dude, I got to see the box, man. She literally said, I'm not going to eat it all. But the cut was insane, bro. Look at the before and after, okay? Right? It's not even halfway filled. It's not. But then the next cut, big as fuck. So much that it literally is apexing the plate. This shit is literally a mountain on top of the plate, dude. And this plate is big as fuck already. This is not a normal serving size plate. And I know a lot of people in the UK always give us American shit for our serving sizes. And you're right. Our serving sizes are ridiculous. They're so massive. But this, you cannot come at me for this. What is that? What is that plate? That thing is humongous. That thing is massive, dude. Look at the size. And it, look, the before and after is serious, dude. All I would want, all I want, all I want is to see what's rest in the box, bro. But I don't think she's going to do it. That is good. It's all right. Like, does anybody watch her to see the food reviews themselves? Or is like, I, I think most people are just watching her to see the portions, right? They're just seeing the portions and the food quality. And you're going, <gasps> oh my God. And then like watching her be out of breath while eating the food. Nobody's like watching her to see the review on the food itself, right? Because she doesn't actually review the food. She just goes, oh my God, it's lovely. It's lovely. Mm, that is good. That is good. It's no, there's nothing to it. It's just, there's not like, mm, it has a good consistency. This is what it kind of tastes like. This is where I got it. This is the texture of the food itself. The quality of the food is very, very good too. Or yeah, it's not very good here. The fries are of good consistency. They have, they're made russet or whatever. The onions are very, very fresh. There's none of that. It's literally, 
Oh my god, it's lovely. It's so delicious. I've never had something this good before. And then you look at it the night before and you're like, dude, you had this shit like two days ago. That is nice. Coffee like, that? Like, what do you mean that is nice? Like, that's not a food review. That doesn't mean anything. That's nice as opposed to what? I knew that coffee was going to be good. <laughs> mm. Whatever, Becky. Damn, dude. In my element. Call me one Dude, now. how did you talk with all that food in your mouth? Hold up. Mm. Did she cut? In my element. How the fuck did she... Damn, that was a lot of fucking food, dude. That was like four or five fries on that fork, and she still managed to say an entire sentence? Good. Look at this. How many fries? Mm. Three, four fries on that? Look at that shit. And then she puts it in her mouth, and it almost kind of like it evaporates... Because she's able to say an entire sentence right off the bat. Watch. In my element. One chew. Call me what you want. And clap One it. chew and it was done? Crazy, man. So that's, delicious. That's some expert shit right there. If you're able to talk while you got like four or five pieces of fries in your mouth. A little bit. Let me see the box. Take away now. Let me see the box. Mecca. <laughs> okay. Come on, dude. I just wanted to see the box, bro. I know she busted it down, dude. I know she did, man, but and that box got to be empty, right? That thing was anorexic. There's no way there was anything left, right? There could not have been. That shit was big as fuck. There was so much on the plate. Dang, there's no way. It was some onions, probably. I see the onions, but like, I also am concerned about these two boxes over here, too, bro. Becky, unstoppable. Take away night. Mecca. <laughs> okay, guys, here it is. My take on the Easter shells cheesecake. I got a Maltese. Who started the trend of Easter cake sh cheese cheesecakes, bro? Who, who did that? I'm going to need to talk to that person, dude. Uh, was it Becky? Like, I, at this point, dude, I, I, don't even, I, don't even care, I don't even care who started the trend. Why is Becky even hopping on that shit? Wouldn't she just see, like, a random, like, a nine-year-old or something on TikTok doing this as a one-off, like, four years ago? And she go. Oh my god, I have to try it. I'll have to go home right now and I have to make this. Because like no I've never seen this trend before in my I'm not on the TikTok very often, okay? And I've never seen anybody do this before. Is this a trend? Is this a real trend, dude? Somebody let me know. It's an egg. Se and the just setting yourself up for failure as well, dude. You got a fucking Velociraptor egg of chocolate and you're filling it with cheesecake? Alright, bro. Egg, but unfortunately my Maltese's egg broke. <laughs> So I only had the buttons egg to work with. That's fine. So once I cut this in half, oh, I got some digestive biscuits and bashed them up into little pieces. <sighs> I then put them into a bowl and added in some melted butter. Damn. I actually didn't measure any of my ingredients. Okay. I just went why, with it. Why would you, right? I then flattened them down inside the Easter egg shells to make the base. <sighs> Damn. Then I Damn. added in some Philadelphia, How along much? With some icing Damn. sugar, and some vanilla flavoring. Damn! I Just... used my stand mixer to mix that up. Once that was all smooth, I added in some double cream, and then mixing that all up until it was the right consistency. You know, some people gotta take insulin, right? You know that? Like some people have general medical issues when it comes to eating stuff. And you're just throwing that. You just don't care. Like you don't care that that might be you in like a year or two or something like that. Uh, how'd you, where'd you even get this, uh, how'd you even come by this, uh, do you have a cookbook that we can buy? Do something we can look through? Like, how do you get the ingredients for this? Okay. With the Maltesers, I put them in a More chocolate, dude? Bag and I bash them too. Ugh. Now it's time for the decorating, so I put the filling inside the shells and put some of the Maltesers. She's eating this herself, right? Because look, it's okay if you're cooking food for somebody else. You're washing your hands beforehand, right? I'm washing my hands. I'm making the I'm making the food or whatever. You could trust me. I always wash my hands before I cook anything. And I wash my hands in the middle of cooking. If you're handling meat or something, I'm washing my hands. I'm going back through. I'm cutting the onions. I'm cutting whatever the fuck. You could trust me. When it comes to Becky, right? I don't, I'm not questioning whether or not she's a cleanly person. I think she probably is, okay? But I'm just doubting severely that these things are made for anything other than herself. I don't know if anybody's going to come over and see this and go, Becky, oh my god, you made me a half of a chocolate egg. It's so good. Thank you, Becky. I don't think anybody's doing that. I don't know if anybody would come over and eat that. So I'm, I'm guessing, and plus she has her hands, her hands all over that shit. She's just flaking it out on top of the eggs. The gyno, the gino, whatever this is called. Uh, damn, dude. I mean, she do. I don't have a cutting board myself, personally. Dude, I suck. I just cut everything on plates. But 
I don't think anybody else has eaten this, right? It's just her, right? What are we thinking? On top, I then got my Maltese bonus. Damn, you already have I a just lot used though. One of these on each of the shells. Then I got my Why sauce the... and drizzled this over. There's I was already add so milk much. And, and buttons in, but I just thought it would be too much, and I liked the way they looked like this. But there we have it. I hope many... they taste delicious. You they... got extra chocolate too. How much? How many calories do you guys think this is? Like she had the butter. She had the melted butter that she put in. That's got to add a couple hundred on top. And then she has the cream, and then with the cream, the chocolate. These eggs alone are like 400 calories, bro. The hollow eggs, they're like 400 calories. And she got more eggs, and she she coated them with, with the eggs. All right. I don't even want to begin to think about the amount of calories, dude. It's probably through the fucking roof, just like her blood pressure. They look amazing, and yeah. They don't I look amazing, dude. They, they look like pure diabetic disasters. Damn, bro. Becky, every day you got to do this shit. I want to try some more ideas and be a bit more creative, but I love it. How about how about we try to like make a how about how about some fruits like some apples maybe, uh maybe an orange or two like we could probably do something like that um maybe like a peach or a watermelon something like that would be pretty good. I don't know what the fuck you're doing with this. Even Willy Wonka looked at that shit and was like, oh my god, what the fuck you doing? Gene Wilder fucking rolling around in his grave looking at that. Did somebody say pancake day? Nobody said that. Nobody. Nobody said that shit at all. Damn, you really got the food right above the dog bowls, bro? Is that normal? Dude, when I had my cat, I had put it under the tables, right? I, had, I have two tables out in my kitchen, right? I got one table on the left, and I got like a big table that people could eat food on that nobody, nobody ever eats food on. But I have a table on the left. I'd put it underneath there, and my cat would just eat the food underneath there. And then the litter box was also in the pantry against the wall, if that makes any sense. So, uh, I don't know why so many people have their 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 food dog dishes just so, so, so close to all the other foods, man. Happy pancake day, everybody. It's just an excuse to eat food. I mean, just keep it a buck with me, dude. Nobody ever... Damn, bro. Is this just for you? Damn, man. How many pancakes is that, dude? There's like... There's gotta be 15 pancakes on that. Here on my pancake. And you got the Nutella and you got the chocolate fucking spread? Isn't that basically what Nutella is in general? No? You got the big ass fucking strawberries, dude? The GMO strawberries that they inject with human growth hormone? Cakes that I've just made. Damn, and two. You got two of them, huh? Damn, two, bro. It's crazy, man. <laughs> you got the... Man, I remember one time. I remember one time, dude. I went over to my guy friend's house. And he was like, yo, bro, you trying to play some games or whatever? We went into his room, bro. This dude had whipped cream on his dresser, dude. And I was like, what you doing with that? And he was like, oh, yeah, dog. You know, sometimes I got I to gotta just in my mouth. And I don't know about that, bro. I don't know. Like, I was starting to think, like, there was some hair on the bottom of it. I don't know, man. You know? Some mini ones, too. Why, Becky? Why you do that? Damn, bro. You got the fucking peanut butter, too? More strawberries? And we've got all these toppings. We've got Biscoff it's biscuits. Gonna be, this, this is gonna, I can already tell. It's gonna be crazy. It's gonna be literally insane, dude. The, the ingredients already on the table. This shit's been probably sitting for like 20 minutes, too. These shits are cold as fuck. This shit's gonna be crazy. Strawberries, Biscoff, dark chocolate chips. Bro, you already, damn, dude. Chocolate, dude. The chocolate chips, the chocolate, whatever these things are, the milk duds, the chocolate spread, she had another chocolate spread, and she had the Nutella, and she's got the whipped cream. You already got it. You got way too fucking much. Jesus. Where is the syrup? Where is the syrup, dude? You're making pancakes? You don't got syrup? Isn't that like the number one thing that you put on pancakes? Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong, dude? How the fuck do you have pancakes without syrup? It's like having cereal without milk, man. What are you doing? What? Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong, dude? Some nutty Ella um, dipping, bananas, milk chocolate chips, buttons, some milk chocolate sauce, Nutella, blueberries, bananas, and the pancakes. No syrup. No fucking maple syrup at all. I, I, you're celebrating. Maybe I'm the wrong one here, dude, but I always imagine if you're having pancakes, you get the maple syrup, right? You spray it on there, right? But I never, Becky just does shit so fucking wrong. 90% of the toppings are literally chocolate. Literally. It's all fucking chocolate. And you couldn't, you couldn't imagine to get the one ingredient that is the most appropriate for the pancakes, which is syrup. I'm so proud of my pancakes. What you mean you're proud, dude? This is an abomination. 
What the fuck are you talking about? This shit is literally taking off four years of your life, guaranteed. You got peanut butter before you got maple syrup. They look so good. Okay, guys, so let's dish it out. So I'm gonna have you could two just to start with. Just pick them up, dude. Them shits is cold. Th them, <laughs> these things are fucking cold as shit, bro. You might as well just take them out of the freezer. And oh, actually, no, I'm gonna freak. I'm gonna layer them too, because that's Damn. a mini one. Um, I, I'm gonna I, have we one. Don't, we don't know how she made these either. These things could just be 90% butter. Biscoff off and one Nutella. So we're gonna put the sauces on first. So we've got Nutella here, <laughs> but I <don't> know. <laughs> I never heard somebody called Nutella sauce. That's damn. That's that's different. That's, that's okay, different. I get so excited for it. I love making them, and yeah. Just what do you mean it. you're excited? Right, so got... How many times have I heard her say she's excited about the food, man? Man, dude. Sometimes I feel like she should just not be. I feel like she should have times where she's not excited. I feel like she should have days where. She just eats regular food, you know, like cook something that you probably are proud of. Something that's not going to be the best in terms of the taste factor. Like not everything needs to be, you, you know what I'm talking about? Exciting to eat. It just needs to be okay. It just needs to be all right. You know what I'm going to eat today? Chicken breast and potatoes and corn. That's all right. That's not like me going, oh my God, can't wait to eat. I'm, also, I'm not like hyperventilating before I eat it. It's just a normal meal for me. But for you... To sit there and look at the pancakes that you're coating in Nutella, no maple syrup, dude, and you're going, I'm excited? It's it's not that deep, bro. It's really not that it's not that good, bro. That is a doorstop, dude, right? Dude, the butt plug on the door, but I know the door can't stop because, it, okay, maybe the counter wasn't there. I don't know. Our uh, Nutella here. Yeah, it's, all right, bro. By the way, Nutella is really high in calorie. I think it's like for one tablespoon, it's like, what? How much is it like? 100 calories am i wrong on that it's a lot which i'm just spreading on they're still quite hot as well so i don't know about that that's good um and then i'm gonna have banana with nutella okay so i'm gonna put banana look at her dude and here actually i'm gonna have some blueberries as well why is she nutella. it's not going anywhere some blueberries okay i might as well have a couple of strawberries as might well. as well just toss them on there just whole strawberries some strawberries throw them on yeah some fruits and i've got some cream actually i'm gonna put the cream on in a minute let's do the biscoff if everyone wants to get that. what is biscoff is that peanut butter what is that can somebody let me know what that is <laughs> so we've got biscoff spread nah you didn't just use that same knife she did not use that same knife right hold up let me see the knife she used for this okay it had a black handle okay hold up it had a black handle can I just really quickly see this? And I've got some cream. Actually, I'm going to put the cream I on in a minute. I got to see the black handle on that. Off. Everyone wants to and get she that. reaches <laughs> over to the same spot where she put so it down. So we've got Biscoff Man. spread. Okay, it's a different knife. Which I'm going to pop on this Oh, she got one. some etiquette. Is this peanut butter? What a good mixture. Eh? Okay. So we have Biscoff. I should put the knives there so people can use them. I'm going to have some strawberries on there. Damn, bro. Just for you, huh? She do she dipping her hands into strawberries like as if nobody else is going to put their hands in this shit. Can you imagine just having a pancake day by yourself? Man, that's got to be depressing as fuck, man. You just sitting at the home by yourself making deluxe pancakes with no syrup by yourself? Alone? Depressed? Nobody? No friends? No family want to help you out with this? Just you? You got enough portion here for like five or six people? By yourself? Depressing. Like, my overloaded one. Because <laughs> I'm going to put some... But you, you know, you got the food, I guess, right? Like, the food is your friend. <laughs> man, that's some fucking... That is depressing, I'm man. I'm going to put on. Okay. I'm going to put dark chocolate chips on. I love Dang, dark yeah. chocolate chips. Yep. Yeah, just put them on the other one. Yeah, fuck the fuck, fuck the, um, the I'm fruit. I'm gonna have some Maltesers on it. Damn, damn, bro. A couple of white. She got the Michael Dunklin heads. I'm gonna go for the <gasps> milk chocolate sauce. Damn, well. bro, you already, got... dude. That's serious, bro. That's serious. I thought it was done. She went and pulled out the milk chocolate sauce as well, dude. <sighs> These things are gonna be this, this. This, it's okay to eat this once. Because after you eat this once, your body's gonna be like shocked for the rest of your life. I'll drizzle this on. Oh, there was something that came out first, like water or something. You saw that? I'll drizzle this on. It was like, you saw that? It was like water. 
Like, you forgot to shake it up. You know when you have the ketchup, you gotta shake it up a little bit, otherwise it just squirts out, like, water all over your shit? I think there was some kind of water to squirt it out. But you know what? I'm actually okay with that. Because it, if you're getting water in any way, it's probably it's probably good. I mean, granted, we are getting water from the chocolate sauce, which is probably not the best, but at least it's water. So I'll give her that. I'll give her credit for drinking some water, even though it's the, a byproduct of the chocolate. Gum. And then I'm going to put some cream. Here. And here. Too much. I'm gonna put no, that's it. That's it. That's it, that's it bro. What you doing? Damn, damn, Becky. The cream, but oh my gosh, guys, let me show you. Here they are. I am buzzing with them. Wow. Honestly, guys, I think I've done these pancake stations since I started TikTok, like properly, and I love them. So pancake day. And homemade pancakes are gonna be yum. Mmm. You got nobody in your life that cares about you. Like, nobody sees this shit. Like, a grown woman hovering over uh, the countertop. Like, fucking... Keep it a buck, okay? There was at least 15 pancakes on that shit. She ate three of them right there. Each... Say whatever you want. Those pancakes that she put on the plate gotta be at least over a 1,000 calories. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. Dude, did you see what she put on that shit? Whatever. There was, she was the only one eating that, right? And nobody, like, came into the kitchen and was like, Damn, Becky, what is... Th what is that, Becky? Why are you guys... Damn! You gonna put all that on the fucking pan... Wait. Where's the... What? Where is the syrup? Like, you... This is pancakes, right? That's pancakes? You don't got any syrup for those? But you put chocolate sauce on it? Chocolate sauce, huh? And chocolate sauce? And Nutella, huh? But no syrup? Oh, okay, Becky. Um, you don't care? You don't care about yourself at all? Like, that shit is crazy. Me smelling it, I think, took off six months of my life. You sure you want to eat that? Like, I think it's probably better if you actually went to Chernobyl and got, like, a scraper and just scraped off the residue of the, the nuclear reactor and just, you know, folded that up and just took a bite of that. I think you would probably live uh, way longer if you ate that than if you eat this. No, sir. That's, that's got to be crazy, right? You know... The leader, uh, being the leader of the SERP army, right? I can't, I can't believe that. I can't believe she didn't put any SERP on the pancakes at all. That's insane to me. Hi everyone. So I've already had my take, but I've just had Paige, how stressful was that? Dude, I, you can't start the video and be like, I've already had my tai. So that means that she already ate. And I guess she was like, fuck it. I gotta go to Mickey D's too. So I've already had my take. But I've just had, Paige, how stressful was that drive to Liverpool? Bad. Is that, is that the reason why you're here? Is this like a, oh, it was really bad for me, so I have to go to McDonald's and eat food? Isn't this like your way of admitting you have an addiction? What? It, it, if it's stressful, and then you go, how do I solve the stress? And you eat food? You go to Mickey D, you get a Mackey's? Isn't that like... Literally, isn't that literally an addiction? Like, aren't you saying the quiet part out loud here? You're literally admitting that you have an addiction by eating this Mickey D's, dude? Alright. Dude, I'm sorry. Oh, look, bro. Look. I like Mickey D's, bro. I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. I love McDonald's. I know it's terrible for you. I know anytime I ever go in there, it's literally being made by the, the Puerto Rican whatever people behind the counter. They love me, dude. I come in there almost every other day, and they, they already have the coffee pre-made for me, right? That's they that's what it is, right? I love Mickey D's. I love myself a good quarter pounder. I get a quarter pounder like every month at least, right? It's, it's insane to me how anybody can pop that shit in their mouth like this. And then look off to the side as if it was like ambrosia. As if it was like bestowed upon you from the gods themselves. And not the fucking Mexican guy behind the counter that was just plopping that shit on. This is a double cheese, bro. This ain't even a QP. This is the lowest common denominator on the menu. These used to cost a dollar. And you're over here body and that shit going, oh my god. Like the way she looked over at that shit was like the way that I feel like Matthew McConaughey would look at a woman in a rom-com from the early 2000s. Like the pure beauty in his eyes, the way he looked at that person. I mean, look at the love. Ready for this? Close the eyes. 
it's not that good. It's not, it's a fucking double cheese, dude. It's not that good, okay? This is literally nothing. It's just a burger from McDonald's. It's never, no one should ever, ever in their entire life, unless you were dying of starvation, dude, and you pop that burger in your mouth, never, never. It's not that good. It's not. It's a double cheese, bro, from Mickey D's. Dude, um, look, bro. You gotta stop, Becky, bro. You can't. That's way too dramatic for me. I have to start. Possibly one of the worst drives. Excuse you. I've had many times in my life, too, where things were just really, really bad and terrible and disgusting. Usually, right, when I'm, like, really hitting a realm of, like, damn, it was a really bad day, I don't even eat, personally. Because I give, for me, I just don't have appetite because it was a really bad day for me. Uh, but... I guess for a lot of people, when they're having really bad days or they're going through stints of depression, they like to eat, which I understand it, right? Comfort food and things like that. I don't, I can't relate to that because for me, I just, I can't eat. But for Becky to be sitting there and acknowledge, how bad was the drive, first of all, dude? Would you get pulled over four times? Like, what exactly happened on the drive? Would you hit a couple deer? What do, what qualifies as a bad drive? Traffic? Was it traffic? What? Okay, I, I would love to know what you mean by it was a terrible drive. I have to know. Because, like, I don't know what that even means. Like, you would have to be in traffic. Maybe if you are in traffic for, like, nine hours or something when you should have been there an hour ago. Maybe hit a deer. Maybe somebody jumped out. Like, if you're in New York City, maybe there was somebody on the street with their dick out. I don't know. Could that be it? I don't know. Since I've been driving. No, just it, don't. It took us, then, like, the whole way around Liverpool to get to this McDonald's because Paige what? is going dancing soon. Um, what do you mean it took us what were you doing then was the goal to just drive to mcdonald's what hold up <laughs> hold up bro was the goal to just drive to mcdonald's just to get mcdonald's and you're using it as as an excuse to eat mcdonald's what are we doing right now becky it was awful it's not worth a double cheese right it's not like a it, you get mcdonald's when it's convenient you don't buy mcdonald's because you you want McDonald's, you just you, if you're in the in area, and you haven't eaten in a few hours, and it's like ah, uh, fuck, I don't want to do it, but I'll go to McDonald's. Like, you know, you don't drive hours to buy Mc, it's McDonald's, bro. It's like on every corner. <laughs> Always, but yeah, guys, it was like the worst thing ever, and I literally panicked so much, my heart rate went right off. Becky, look, I don't think that was because you were driving, dude. I think you just have issues. I think that maybe, um, is your heart rate good now that you're eating this Mickey D's or... <sighs> Becky, you're telling me some things right now, and I'm starting to think that maybe you got a big problem, and I don't think that consuming Mickey D's is gonna help. I actually think it's probably making it worse. My watch told me. What? But yeah, panicked too much. My heart rate went right off. My watch told me. Okay. But yeah. <laughs> it was so awful, and I'm dreading the way back already, but hopefully I'll be right. Cut, you gonna take one for the road? Yeah. Needed a double cheeseburger. That's crazy as fuck, bro. You needed the double cheeseburger? That's the equivalent of somebody going, I just need to get this drink. I need to go get that. I need to get this drink from the, the station. I need to smoke this cigarette. I need to go smoke this crack. I need to go suck this man off. It's any addiction. It's just that. That's what it is, Becky. It's an addiction. Admit it. Need the uh, regular coke, huh? <laughs> Need the fuck, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, um, lost for words, bro. That, that double cheese got her sitting right. I feel out of it. I feel like I'm like, <gasps> like panic mode. Isn't that what you're like all the time, bro? She's always out of breath, no matter what she's doing, dude. Even just like standing up, building those pancakes, she was out of breath. So I'm not surprised that she was hyperventilating. I mean, I've never heard of somebody hyperventilating over a double cheese before, but I guess. So yeah. Yeah, she's making that shit last. You gotta buy more than one double cheese, bro. You're not gonna go through some PTSD dramatic event like she's going to make it seem like. You're gonna buy two or three double cheeses, right? Am I wrong on that? What are fries, bro? What are fries? You know, you're going to Mickey D's. Everybody know what you're getting the fries. <coughs> Stop me too. <laughs> What are you doing? Why are you even doing this? What is this, huh? Becky, I know you be body slamming, dude. You don't give a fuck when, you, when you're when you in the crib. I literally saw you body slamming that chocolate egg. You were fucking body slamming that shit. You were sitting there huffing it down, dude. And you're over here going, 
Nope, bro, come on, dude. We know you be bodying. Don't sit there and try to cover up your mouth. Just body slam. Dude, you can literally Sasquatch that fucking burger down in two bites. Don't lie to me. You don't need this anymore, oh, dude. Um, thank you. Wait, what did that guy say? Damn, bro. I didn't know they let animals in here. You don't need this anymore, oh, dude. Um, thank you. What'd he say? So, yeah. That was that. But just thought I'd update you, you know? It's sad. Well, yeah. Say bye, Paige. Hi. Hi everyone. That's really sad. Man, she literally had PTSD and in order to like make herself feel better, she went to go get a Mickey D's, bro. And she got the double cheese. Probably more than that. Girl be lying. So tonight for tea, I have got a takeaway. I went with Slim Chicken. <laughs> I don't even know why she even says it like that. You don't even have to say for tonight for tea, I did get a takeaway. I know, Becky. I know. You think I thought that, did you think I thought you made this? You think I, you, this bag like this? You think I thought you made this? which i've never had before i don't care she does that same shit that amber does bro i don't give a fuck if you never had this before i don't even know what that what the relevance of that is even like i get it you're saying it to try to justify the expense you're trying to justify the food like because i don't ordinarily eat these foods that's the reason i have it today but that completely is thrown out the window given that you eat literally every single fucking day multiple times a day matter of fact takeaways all you do day in day out i see this woman eating all all day or day and you know to sit there and go oh but I, I don't really eat this that often or i haven't eaten this before so what 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 even that what even is that like oh I've never sucked the guy off so let me just like swallow him down real quick no dude I don't care like you just because you never did something doesn't mean you should do it it's just a, it's just a reason to try to be okay with eating the food that's just be I'm honest super excited to try this so let's see what is in this big bag what do you mean let's see obviously I know what I've ordered but yeah. I've never had it so I don't know how it comes or anything I hope I hope this shit is better than all the meals that she eats dude because they they almost kind of don't really give a fuck about Becky and I guess she doesn't care either because they just throw the food on a plate and she'll just she'll, she'll still inhale it she doesn't give a fuck so I, I hope it's like at least presentable. So I went with the chicken tenders. <laughs> Bro, you, man, it is so, if you go on outside the house and you're getting chicken tenders, dude, it's it's so crazy because you could just go to the grocery store, buy a bag of chicken tenders and some fries and that show will be way cheaper. That show will last you way longer and you're still buying chicken tenders outside the house. Why? Out of everything you could buy, dude, it's so irrelevant. And I did get some wings as well so oh. i'm guessing this is going to be the wings you get something called texas toast as well oh there's the chicken wings they look nice and uh. um, my dips that i got are i went for korean barbecue All right, so we do the dips after i don't really care about the dips i don't even know why you should have dips in the middle show me the food first dude and the gravy mayo not too sure what that's going to be like but i'm hoping that it's nice gravy okay. mayo wow this is a big box. I've never had this, though, like I said, so I am excited to try it. Big as fuck. I'll just go for something different, and it looks nice, and I'm starving. Ooh. You're not starving, dude. I know Becky says that quite a bit, though. I am literally starving. I haven't eaten in two hours. Okay. What are we thinking? Leave it down below in the comment section. This isn't worth it. How much did you pay for this? 15 bucks 15 20 bucks this is outrageous for the price i'm not gonna lie to you dude you can go to a grocery store you can buy a bag of chicken tenders good 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 quality chicken tenders 10 bucks 10 bucks buy a bag of fries on the side five bucks 15 bucks that shit will last you easily four meals easily easily these are big chicken tenders easily four meals maybe even five if you stretch that shit out no problem dude put some fucking put some vegetables on the side easily five meals and i'm spending 15 dollars. this woman probably spent 15 on this alone just for this just for this not even mentioning the chicken 15 for this i mean look at that face bro look at the way she be looking at that shit it's not that good becky this is just deep fried food in a box with some grease on the side it's not that good dude i don't know why you're doing this face becky got a problem dude it's not even this toast don't even look presentable what do they cook this in the air fryer so this is the Texas toast. It's just bread. It, I don't know why people... Texas toast... What, what is Texas bread? Just like fucking extra thick bread? It, it, it's not... I don't care. I just don't care when people go, Oh, 
it's Texas toast. It's Italian bread. Oh, it's Mexican fajitas. It's Mexican hot dogs. I don't care. I don't even understand why they even have it labeled like that. It's just like the novelty of the item. Like they get you to think that it's somehow special. That shit was made from the Indian guy behind the counter. It's nothing Texas about it. This is literally the bread was built in, in the, the back room. Is nothing Texas about it, dude. Maybe it's made in a style, but nobody cares. It's like, whatever, dude. I mean, I'm sick of this shit, dude. I'm just, I'm just sick of it, bro. And to sit there and go like, I've never had this. And like, you know, I, oh, I've never had Texas toast before. You've eaten bread, right? Thicker pieces of bread. You never threw that shit in the oven for 10 minutes. There you go. Right there. Texas bread. I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you. You're eating Texas bread. Chips. French fries in mm. every single fucking meal. Mm, a bit cold. <laughs> I'm returning. I'm returning that shit, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Becky has no standard for food, bro. She literally just put that shit in her mouth, and she said that shit was an icicle. And now she's going, it's cold. I'm returning that, dude. Uh, Becky doesn't care. I get it. She has no standards, but you should. You should, Becky. I get it. You eat a lot in a day, so maybe it just kind of all blends together. I would not be putting up with this, dude. If you're spending 15, 20 bucks on some food, it better be I. Right. And they're the chicken tenders. Chicken tenders look amazing. They're all right. And they're then, just in here, I'm guessing this is just going to be my drink. Yes. I've got Diet Coke. Um, I did order full fat, but, you know, it's fine. Um, so I'm just going to dish this out and then... Oh, she ordered the full fat. She's going to keep it a buck? Okay. Well, maybe they felt bad. They were like, there ain't no way this woman going to survive all this. We got to throw in the diet. We will try it all. Okay, I've dished it. Ooh, damn, Becky. Damn. That's a lot. Damn, these plates, bro. Just really put it in perspective. She really dished out the entire box is on top of this plate. And it, it, the box... The, the box was big. Man, dude, these plates are massive. Out by, I'm going to pour myself some cherry coke. Ah, d damn. You can't even do the diet. You couldn't even do the diet. You got to get the full fat. That's crazy. Why you even order it then? What? You could have saved some money. Oh, damn. I thought she was going to I thought she was going to dish out the diet, man. I was about to be like, "Oh, well, if she isn't drinking her calories." Nah. Nah, man, she's still drinking the calories. That's tragic. Man, look at the box back there. Because I need a full fat. Of course. Of course you need that. Damn, but you, I can't even believe the words sometimes that this woman says. Look, in, look at the plate. Look at the size of the plate. And then you're going, I need the full fat? Really? You need that? You need that in your mouth? You're already feeding your mouth with a lot of, a lot of deep fried food right now. And you need the full fat? We just got to add an extra 300 calories on that? Why not? I mean, I mean, to be honest, why not, dude? I mean, it'd be like being, it's like committing war crimes. Like, I already killed 15 people. I might as well go for the 50, right? Like, why not, dude? I'm already all, I already did some bad stuff. I might as well keep going. I got no morals anymore. And wait for that to stop fizzing. And we will try this. I want to try the great... Yeah, gravy mayo. Oh man, this I forgot about the sauces. How nice does this look, guys? It's 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 okay. just brown. It's just brown. Everything you eat is brown. Literally, Becky, everything. There's not a single thing I've seen this woman eat that isn't brown, dude. I mean, watch the video. Watch the video. It's all it's like Neapolitan. Everything is just Neapolitan. Just different flavors of brown. That's it. The whole thing. Did she dance for that? Mmm. Uh, cold fries okay i'm a bit disappointed that it's um cold yeah why does that bread look green mm -hmm. that's really nice it's just bread sauce is really good okay korean barbecue let's try tender don't do it mm. bro damn them chicken mean, tenders that korean barbecue sauce wow it is amazing it's not so i'm gonna go and enjoy this you've um, been enjoying too much becky there's way too much enjoyment in your life and you know what 
what I find enjoyment is not the same way that she finds enjoyment, dude. I think she needs to like reorient her priorities because she does this way too often and, and she she justifies it in the weirdest ways, man. Like I've never eaten this before or this is my first time ever getting this place. So, you know, I had to get this or I did this and the plate size would be massive, dude. My sister and Paige were at the Brits tonight. Okay. Fry's got icicles. So I'm going to go and look out for them on the telly. Um, but yeah, hope you're all having a great weekend so far. Um, I'm going to go and enjoy my slim chickens, even though it's a little bit cold, but it's fine. Love you all. She got no... Hey everyone. She doesn't care, man. My what are you eating today? So I stayed at the Premier Inn on Friday night, and then when we got up, we had... Tuh. You know how I feel about the orange juice, right? I don't care what anybody says. Anybody that justifies orange juice, you're literally just basically Not saying... Friday night, and then... It's, it's just basically like really high calorie water, but people like to say like, oh, but I like it because it's got vitamin C. You can't take a multivitamin. Like it's not the reason why you drink the orange juice. You drink it because you like it and just keep it a buck. You like orange juice. It's okay to like orange juice, but it's really high calorie. It is very, very high calorie. It's all sugar. Even the, even the ones that go like no added sugar, dude, that's still a ton of calories. Focus on water as much as you can, but... I guess for Becky, it really doesn't matter, dude. I don't even know why I'm saying this, dude. For Becky, I mean, she literally got a Diet Coke, and she was like, I don't care. I'm still going to pour out the full fat. So, it, you know, honestly speaking, it doesn't matter. She has no, she doesn't care. And when we got up, we had the dry-ass pancakes, dude. These, How long have these been sitting out? If you went to a, a buffet or whatever, a breakfast buffet, these things got to have sitting here for 45, an hour long at least. Dude, these are some Frisbees. These are Basically, just they've been sitting on here for hours. Late breakfast and oh my them gosh, shits don't even move. So good. We went to an Irish bar on Friday, karaoke. Man, she gotta always put damn. Okay, look. She got a pancake, right? A whole pancake. She's not showing you the whole pancake here. She body slammed this pancake. Okay, it had Nutella on it and it had the bananas. Bananas are highest calorie fruit. Okay, this is all carbs. All carbs. Way to protein. Where the protein, Becky? It was oh the yogurt, so I guess. Fun. So I basically had pancakes, croissant, yogurt. Yeah, keep the, keep in mind, she said pancakes, so more than one. Banana and of course Nutella. Of course. Then we had no back. syrup, bro. I don't, can somebody let me know? Is that normal in the UK to not put syrup on your on your on your on uh, uh, on your pancakes? Is that normal, dude? I've seen her do this twice now. And it's, uh, to me, that's crazy. Because here in America, syrup. We put syrup on pancakes. We put syrup on waffles. We we don't put, I mean, sure, you might find that odd person putting Nutella on. Maybe. But most people, they're putting syrup on it. Can somebody let me know? Am I wrong on that? Home. So when I got home, I just needed, I just couldn't stop drinking. I love when Becky says, I just needed it. I just needed it. I Oh, it was just essential for me. I needed that. Yeah, she did that before with the uh, the, the 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 full full fat uh, soda. So I mean, yeah, I get it, but damn. As in, just fluids. <laughs> so I had a chocolate, chocolate milk. milkshake and some of these chocolate milkshake and which are now my new favorite biscuits. And this chocolate milkshake, oh my gosh, it just hit. It was so refreshing. <laughs> Hit the bottom of your stomach like a nuclear bomb exploding, man. A, a woman, any chance you can, just consume more calories. It seems like she just doesn't care and she'll just do it. I, it's like, there's so many reasons to just not do this. Like, you could have just drank water. And I get it. Like, chocolate. I understand that it's it's probably tastes better to eat a chocolate smoothie or whatever this is, right? A milkshake. I get it. It does taste better. But so what? You you don't you want to live long? Don't you want to have like a family? Don't you want to like take care of your family? Don't you want to like not have to have people worry about you, dude? You you've been doing this shit too much, too much. You gotta take some time. Too much time is dedicated in your life to just eating whatever you want and you not caring. I don't care how many times how many times have I heard this woman go, I need this or I don't care. It's for me. I don't care. I don't care. I hear that all the time. Literally every single video I do for her, it's that's that's why I hear that at least two, three, four times a video. Why don't you care? Like you do realize it's more, it's more, it's not just you. You know what I'm talking about? There's, there are other people in your life that maybe rely on you to take care of them or maybe you have some type of responsibility towards other people. You just don't care about that. Like that doesn't really matter to you. Maybe you know, because you're not seeing the trauma right now, it, you don't think that it's a big deal, but... Is a big deal. It is. 
I want to see Becky live for a long time. I do. But if she's just going to spend her time just sitting there glurping down chocolate smoothies, I mean, dude, like, you could have just drank the water. I mean, I, you know, I'd be sitting on the water every day. Or day, every day. On a water. Licking down water, dude. But nah, not for her. Then I'd start getting ready for my night out last night. Damn, she so fucking guzzled tea, that. I got one of the Morrison salads, but I basically got pasta, Bombay potatoes. That's a salad? Man, people just call anything salad nowadays, huh? Usually salad entail everything. Everything this girl eats, brown. All brown. No color to it. Just brown, dude. Just assortments of brown, too. Maybe a little bit darker. Maybe a little bit brighter. Brown. All brown. The Morrison salad, but I basically got pasta, Bombay potatoes, and then I brought some chicken skewers and a chicken tikka samosa to have with it, and it was so, so tasty. <laughs> I also had my crisp out of the meal deal as well. And then I just got ready for the night out. I hope you all had a great day, and I love you all. Oh, man. Any chance to consume more calories? Becky just unstoppable, dude. Why she do this to herself? Ah, oh, she look okay. She look okay. I like the hair. Can I get a hold of? Let me just real quick. Let me see. Let me see real quick. Hold just up. got ready for the night out. I hope you all had a great day, and I love you all. Oh, she can't, I can't see her full face, but she look okay here. Yeah, she got a nice hairline. I'll give her that one. She got nice eyebrows. I'll give her that. Fingers kind of inflated, but it's all right. I mean, what are you gonna do, man? When you don't, I mean, what? You're not really looking for a boyfriend at that size, right? You don't really care about yourself. Like, how you gonna think you're gonna care about somebody else? If you can't care for yourself, right? Then you don't give a fuck. You don't care. You just drank like a, a whole chocolate milkshake literally a few minutes ago because you, you needed it. So it doesn't matter. Like Becky can do whatever she wants. She's a grown woman. I love Becky. I think Becky's amazing. She's so beautiful. She's so amazing. I would just wish that she would be more healthy. Just be a little bit more healthy, Becky. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, Becky. But anyway. We're going to end the video here, guys. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. Thank you, everybody that is subscribed already. Thank you, everybody that's a member. You guys are all amazing, fantastic people. Um, we do live streams on the channel, like, mon sorry, not Monday, Wednesday through Sunday, usually, uh, unless something happens. So if you want to tune in on that, we usually do them around 6 in into the night. So you probably see me live right now, and you can go tune in. But anyway, guys, um, you're a beautiful specimen. If you watch the video in its entirety, Leave it down below by typing in H2O, which is the ultimate hydration. You need a little salt in your day too to refresh those electrolytes, but water should be incentivized as much as possible uh, because, dude, how many drinks are these people drinking that are just two, three, four, five hundred 500 calories of just nothing? And they do it too consistently. Like her saying like, oh, I needed that full fat. Dude, that's soda alone. She poured it on that big glass. That had to have been 300 calories. No joke. At the bare minimum, it was 250. And that's just doing nothing. It's just sugar. It's just sugar. It's just hitting the stomach and it's just spiking the insulin. That's all it is. That's all it is, man. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. I want to remind everybody how beautiful they are. I'm going to be trying to set up a holiday for everybody here because I know that you're a very beautiful person and you smell really good and I care for you and I really, really want you to succeed in life because I think you're a beautiful specimen of humanity and I think that you smell amazing. I think that your eyebrows are so lubricated. I like the way you did your hair and I like the way that your kneecaps protrude off the leg. I actually like seeing that. It's really nice. Really beautiful, matter of fact. I also like the elbows. The elbows are really, really nice lubricated pieces of your body. Those are really, really nice to look at sometimes, but I also really enjoy your personality. You smell amazing, personally speaking, like personality-wise. I love the aroma that comes off of your feng shui. So I want to congratulate you on your beauty on that particular front as well. Man or woman, I don't care. What are you, you going to do about it, dude? You, you smell good. <laughs> what do you want? Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, any of that stuff. It's all listed in the description of this video and the description of the channel. All you got to do is click about and you'll see the rest of it. Anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, those are jeans over there. I'm going to pick those up soon.